This is Lola, our expert tank fighting dog. She is uh, quite the tank killer. Now, Lola, why don't you uh, stand up for us? Yeah, good, good girl, Lola. Okay. This is our device on how we kill tanks. So, what it's basically comprised of is a TNT attached to her back, and when she goes under a tank, this thing goes down and explodes the TNT. Now we'll show you later on one of our less fortunate dogs, um, but Lola's our best fighting dog, so we usually won't use her to blow up a tank. Um, but for now we're just going to show you a training video of how we go and use uh, their dogs to blow up the enemy's tanks, which in this case is Germany. This is our tank. As you can see, it's a Soviet tank. We are loyal to our motherland. It has the hammer and sickle and our red star. And uh, we all support our great leader, Stalin. This is our turret gun, which I will in a moment show you how it fires and um, how our dogs are trained to withstand a few shots from these guns. This is our very comfortable seat. And of course, our engine. So, without further ado, I'd like to show you how our dogs are able to withstand a few shots from our tiger tank. Okay, so this is our second dog, Echo. She's a very loyal dog and is very good at obeying orders, even though she is deaf and blind and stupid. She also has Cushing's, which means she has a tumor in her pituitary gland, so she gets really fat and oily and smells really bad. She also has a, a bunch of STDs, but that's okay. We love her anyway. And so now she is an expert at taking cannon shots to her body because she, of course, was hurt in a horrible accident where she was trying to explode a tank. And uh, she became blind by it now she and deaf, but it's okay. Now, without further ado, Echo, stay! She's being very obedient, okay. And... Fire! These dogs are being very disobedient. Echo, stay! Echo, stay! Echo, C. Yeah, she's stone blind, but um, she's very disobedient, and we have a very strict policy around here. So, Echo, stay. Echo, stay. I gotta shoot you. Echo, stay. Stay. Lola, flip, speak, roll over. Okay. Lola, too, because first Lola was killed because she's been disobedient, um, can attack our German tank. Um, now, Lola. Attack! Attack! Maybe if I fire a few uh, tank shots at her, she'll wake up a bit. Attack! 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 Insolent fool. Lola, attack! Woodwork, I'll show you on Lola 3, now so that we had to kill Lola 2, if the dog were actually to attack a tank. 
So the dog would go running after the tank. And this thing would go, and Lola, stay, stay. Don't make me shoot you. OK. And it would go under the tank. And this thing would get pulled down. And basically, she'd just explode, exploding the tank. And that's what we try and do around here. Now we will exhibit the maneuverability of the tank and its ability to evade the common dog. Of course, our dogs are too well trained to uh, be slower than any tank. This dog, if it was not locked up to that uh, fence over there, would start attacking this right now and just tear it to shreds. So, we'll now show you the tank. Enemy tank above. The tank is terminated. Now I will show you a real live clip of a Soviet dog mine in action. Hi, motherland! An enemy tank! Attack! 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 Attack the Germans! Kill Hitler! Attack! Ah, motherland! We succeeded! As you can see, the Soviet Union pretty much dominates any other force they come across, especially the Germans. Now we are training our dogs to be able to control our tanks all by themselves, and if necessary, go after enemy tanks. As you can see, Echo is being able to, is driving this tank very well. In the event that she runs into an enemy, she can turn, terminate the force quite easily. Echo, speak. Ah, motherland! We get a little bit tired and stressed out, and in order to train the dogs properly, we now need to have a little bit of fun. Goodbye for now from the Soviet dog mine training facility. Bye bye! <laughs>